Yes, and local health experts want you to be aware, want to remind you of the dangers these kind of temperatures can bring. Of course, kind of a worse fear coming true. Last weekend, Eskenazi Hospital says around 20 people came into their ER with cold related injuries, most of them frostbite. Even if you're covering your ears, hands and feet, you still need to be careful. You know, if you're wearing tennis shoes outside in wet conditions, making sure you change socks frequently, making sure you have a change of, of dry footwear because, you know, having wet footwear out in cold and, and especially low wind chill um, kind of temperatures, that's that that's a recipe for frostbite as well. ER doctor Tyler Stepsis tells us frostbite typically comes in stages and there are clear signs you'll want to watch out for. The ears, the nose, fingers, toes appear lighter than your normal skin color and you'll they'll feel numb or tingly or they just won't feel right. You'll feel a little clumsier in that regard because they just don't work as well. So if you aren't sure if you're protected enough, it's always just safest to just stay inside when temperatures are this low. We have more advice from Dr. Stepsis right now at WTHR.com. And as you plan out your weekend, be sure to download the live Doppler 13 weather app. You can get the hour by hour forecast right at your fingertips and we'll alert you of any advisories in your area. It's a free download in your phone's app store.